Good afternoon, everyone. This video is presented by Tender Experts. In continuation to our previous ongoing series, which is related to the problem solution on e-procurement portal, we have come up with another solution that is related to the e-procurement Karnataka portal. The problem appears at the time of submitting the bid. I will show you the problem that what exactly the issue is we are talking about and then we will understand the process of rectifying the same so let's come to the uh, portal and I will show you the exact error message which is appearing here you can see I will just zoom it and I will show you let me go a little more and here you can see on this screen everything is completed the bid submission part we are at the very end moment on the Karnataka portal where documents and all other details are uploaded we are only just clicking on the verify DSC to final submission of this tender I will show it once again you can see the problem what it is appearing unable to access the file local file system this is a common problem here you can see I will show it once again the error message here once we click on signature verification field that means this is the almost the last step after completing every single uh, detail on the portal after uploading the files uh, filling all details payment everything is completed now at the very last moment whenever we are clicking on this signature verification field to verify our digital signature we get the error message let me show you once again here we are clicking on this uh, and we are selecting our certificate now and now you can see after selecting the certificate instead of asking the pin it is asked it is showing you the error message unable to access the local file system the applet should be started with full security permission please accept the trust applet when java plugin in prompts you now it is not asking you to accept anything right now it is not asking you to accept any kind of security or something but it keeps on giving you this error message you try number of time clicking on the same button try and in there and click on the same button and you will keep on getting this error message and it will not let you to until your digital signature is verified at this one your uh, DSC uh, properly signs this bid you will not be able to submit it successfully so now we are going to talk about the problem solution that how we can do it will what we can do now we are going to just minimize it or just close this page whenever you are getting this message and go to the control panel we have to just remove the Java application whatever Java is running right now in your computer the problem is associated with the Java only so now we are going to remove the Java application from the computer whatever Java is, uh, is running in your computer you can go to the control panel under the program list here I can show you the Java right now which is appearing here it is Java 8 update 291 so I'm just going to uninstall this program first be whatever java is running in your computer be it the latest one or any previous java you're using you have to make sure that it is installed first so i'm just uninstalling this java and after uninstalling i will show you what is the next steps that has to be followed the, the very first thing you have to do is uninstall the java which is running right now here it may ask you there are some java versions which requires the reinstall re restart of your computer the system reboot is required right now because the session is going on so i cannot uh, reboot the system we will check that whether uh, the solution is working without reboot or not but for a safer site i always recommend everyone if you are getting any such message where the system prompts you for the uh, system restart then it is a good practice to restart the computer before doing any further activity so I'm just clicking on no on this one if I would have clicked on this yes button then you can see this this has not removed from the list however the application is uninstalled very few files may be remaining in this computer but it is still remaining in this list Java 8 update 291 if you reboot the computer if you restart the computer there are high chances that this will not appear in the list anymore the other one the which is the Java development toolkit it do not have any effect because it is a 64 bit and it is JDK development toolkit if, if it is available in your computer or not that does not make any difference because it is not required in the portal at all so it is a almost I would say for this purpose it is useless so we either we are uninstalling or keeping it in the computer that does not make any difference so let's see after uninstalling what we will do we will go to the reinstallation we will uh, install the Java once again if you have the Java already 
in your computer let's say I am just searching in this computer the Java is already available here so I will install it from here if you don't have already available you can download it the latest Java you can download it from the uh, GRE website and install it here I'm just installing the Java and uh, after uninstallation if system reboot was required then you will reboot it and then in install the Java once again I'm showing you the process of installation once the installation process is completed we will check some other settings of the Java the here you can see installation process is completed I'm just clicking on close and now we are going to check some other details here so just a few seconds I will try to open the Java settings now Java setting needs to be checked so that we can make sure that everything is okay generally if you are doing just uh, uninstallation and reinstallation that may be sufficient as well however I'm just opening the Java configuration here you can see and now under the Java configuration we will check that if there is any setting problem in this Java or not however after installation most problem gets rectified automatically but still you have to check under this section under the security you can see I'm clicking on the security section and under the Java con uh, con control panel we are checking the security we'll click on the security and then we'll see here the first option you can see this is unchecked now this is very unusual it's not a common problem that everyone will find this box unchecked for this one this is the uh, the remote uh, one of uh, our client was facing the problem and we have taken it on remote and now I'm showing you that what is the problem right now however this is not a common uh, thing that this box is unchecked where it says enable Java co content for browser and web start applications it normally it remains checked so you have to make sure that it should be checked and normally it will be checked in your computer still you may face the problem so after reinstallation you have to check whether it is checked or not if it is unchecked you should make sure that this option is checked and the website the Karnataka website which we are using that should be added to the security list as well so I'm just checking it it's the uh, internet connectivity seems to be very uh, slow that is why here it is taking some time to get this box checked but I'm trying to check it here we go now it is checked and we will just you can see the Karnataka portal is already available in this exception list so I'm not adding it if there is no if it is not available you can add under this uh, exception list as well the the website which we are trying to log in that one should be added to the exception list so right now once we are trying to enable it it says the Java plugin settings are changed so yes we are trying to change it click on OK and this is only the things you have to check the Java installation is must in this case and after installation we have to check whether it is uh, added into the secur security or not now here uh, this is what is my general practice this does not make any difference whether the top three are checked or unchecked it is my general practice that is why I'm doing it uh, just unchecking it if you try to do it uncheck it at the top and rest other settings seems to be okay I don't want anything to be uh, uh, changed anymore just security thing you have to check now we have checked the security and other things and now we are going to try uh, trying to log in once again and let's see whether the problem is remaining or it is rectified a very easiest uh, process I'm suggesting you that the problem actually is related to the Java the problem which which is coming uh, which we are getting that was actually related to the Java so we are trying to log in once again and we'll see that after installation and checking the basic settings that means adding the security uh, adding the website this website where we are trying to log in right now Karnataka I procurement adding into the security Java security exception whether the problem is getting rectified or not so let's see we are logged in the details are already filled we are going to the same option once again at the bottom here you can see now it is asking you to continue the Java whenever you get the Java to run or continue you have to click on run at this page you will get this message so you can click on run wherever you get it and now we'll go to the bottom here and we are clicking the same button once again and now we can see what happens we are selecting the digital signature name the DSC which is inserted now you can see it is not giving you that error message but now it is asking you to enter the digital signature pin that means the problem has been rectified last time uh, when we were trying after clicking on this uh, a button 
to verify the digital signature it was giving you a three line error message right now it is not giving me any kind of error message but it is proceeding to the next page and it is asking me to enter the digital signature password to verify it so now we are going to enter the digital signature password and now it is working so here you can see the problem was only related to the java and basic settings though the option was unchecked the security under the security option you can see the option was unchecked and that could have been one possibility but i have fixed various problems the similar problem to the various clients and this option i don't find that it is always unchecked for all of them this was just an uh, unusual thing that this option was also unchecked but if it was checked still you may get the problem so make sure that after installation that option should be checked and you are adding the website security you are adding this website uh, address in the in the security list so here you can see after entering the the pin let's see the, the bits are getting submitted or not so few more seconds we'll be waiting and we'll see also we provide the technical support services if after trying these all things still you are getting the problem whatever we have suggested you have tried you can see here it says encryption completed here it is giving you the message that it is successfully encrypted now you can simply click on the submit bid and here you can see the bid id is generated that means the tender is sub submitted successfully on the karnataka e procurement portal so this was a very common problem and i have provided you a easiest way which you can follow in this case and i'm very sure that the problem will be rectified however in case of any kind of problem if you're facing on e procurement portal while logging registration a bit submission or any such problem like this one it was not getting rectified if you have tried these steps and still if it is not working see 90 95% chances are there that the problem will be rectified by following this one but still there are few other things which may cause problem so if in case the problem is not getting rectified you can call us for the remote services we provide remote services for the technical uh, problem solution bit submission help uh, various other types of uh, services we are offering so anytime for instant remote support instead of losing the tender you can call us anytime the number is already given at the top i will repeat the number as well it is 9971797803 on this number you can call us anytime or you can visit on our website that is www dot tender dash experts dot com so you can contact us anytime for any kind of uh, help for any kind of query clarification bid submission tender publishing any error message if you are getting or digital signature if you need you can contact us anytime so it was sufficient for today i hope that this will be a helpful video for all of you in case you found uh, the videos suitable and addressing to your problem then i request you all to subscribe my channel you can share and like also i'll request you to send any kind of uh, if you have further query or clarification any kind of uh, further information if you need regarding this you can also mention in the comment i will try to reply it on the comment as well so thank you so much for giving your valuable time we wish you a wonderful day ahead thank you bye bye